Happy September, my loves. Today I am sharing a kitchen must-haves video with you, all from Amazon, all so good. So I have these kind of, it's like a two for one video. I have some new things that I've purchased for hosting this year, things that I realized last year I should have purchased ahead of time, but I'm getting ready for the holidays, so I got those. And then the second thing I'm combining in this video is reviews of things that I purchased. I told you guys like a year plus when I started really buying kitchen items, I was like, I'll do a review eventually, and I haven't yet. So we've lived in this home for a year, so some of these things I'm gonna be sharing, um, and I've had for a long time. So everything will be numbered up on screen and linked in the description bar and comment section. So it's super easy to shop. And we will go ahead and get started with the two things that I'm kind of kicking myself for not having last year. But we got to Thanksgiving day. My parents were like, do you have a platter for this? Do you have a serving platter for that? Do you have serving spoons? And I was like, no, I was not prepared. So I bought a pack of huge 13 inch serving spoons. There were a couple at Costco and Sam's Club that I like priced out and they were roughly the same on Amazon. Um, there were more options on Amazon, but I feel like the look of these is nicer. They're just like a plain spoon. They don't look like that restaurant style. Um, they're a lot shinier. So I got one of these, again, it's a six pack, 13 inch spoons, and they're just really, really sturdy. So these will be great for hosting Thanksgiving. Product number two. <laughs> This was another thing. My dad was like, you don't have tongs for this. You don't have tongs for that. And I was like, nope, not very prepared for hosting. So I got a six pack of these. They are nine inch stainless steel tongs and I absolutely love them. Um, they feel really sturdy. We did keep two of them out just to use on a regular basis because I find some other brands can just be a little flimsy. Um, so I will be using two of these for regular use in our kitchen and then we'll keep the rest set aside for hosting. But I just like the look of them. Nine inches is a pretty good size. Um, and I feel like they're sturdy enough for like thicker pieces of meat or smaller things like rolls. So I am really, really happy. We're gonna have a lot of these in excess this year. Product number three, keeping with the hosting. I find that Sam, now that we are hosting things is a very big, like he's really big on sending people home with clean dishes. He likes to clean everything first. Um, he is just, so on it and with that we don't want people to go home with dirty dishes that also have food in them so i got a bunch of to-go containers because my family like we always just need to-go containers and i figured this would be perfect everybody can make their to-go and then have their cute little thanksgiving um lid on top there are a couple different like prints and patterns in here. Um, but my mom actually got these for Christmas as well last year. And I just love them. Like the idea of already having a to-go container is really nice. So I grabbed a pack of these for Thanksgiving. The next product I actually don't have with me. It arrives on Wednesday, but I've seen these in person. One of my girlfriends has one of these and she was the one who sent me the link and recommended them. I absolutely love the quality and the size of this. I feel like it's gonna be perfect for like a really large turkey or a really large ham. We do both at Thanksgiving, so I did buy two, but she just recommended this platter so much. And when you're hosting, you know there's just like, you, you can't have too many platters. And I like a really white, simple, plain styled platter. So I got these, again, I bought two of them and they'll be in on Wednesday and I'm really, really excited for it. Item number five, so I actually wanted the affordable option of like the version of these. I looked at Pioneer Woman and have had my eye on them for a year. I check back frequently to see if they're in stock and they weren't. This is definitely a heftier price point. These come individual versus the Pioneer Woman ones that come um, packaged as like a four pack. But I finally was like, I just can't keep waiting. I really want cute soup bowls. I've been doing a lot more recipes over on my vlog channel and on Instagram. And I just loved the look of these. So I got these little soup dishes. They definitely were a higher price than the other ones that I was looking at. But again, I've waited a year for those to come back in stock and they haven't. Um, I love the kind of gradient color. I feel like it's not coming off on screen, but it's a really soft white. And then it gets almost like a beige or taupe color at the bottom. And they're just beautiful little soup bowls that have handles. And I just thought they were adorable. We are big crock pot people. We're big soup people in the fall. So I'm really excited to have these. I just, I definitely know they're a higher price point. So be cautious. Keeping with platters, when I host, I don't necessarily need things that are big enough to fit a turkey or ham. And so I got this three pack. I will put these down and kind of hold them up individually. Um, these are more rectangle platters. And again, I like very thin and simple, easy um, platters. And so I like these and I also like the size variation. 
because I feel like these will work for a variety of things. Again, whether it's birthday parties, um, I do end up using them during like Thanksgiving and Christmas, but I just needed simple platters. You'll hear me say it like a hundred times. So I got this three pack and I'm very happy with them. And then I got these two platters that have the handles on them. Sometimes you do need the handles. Um, again, plain white, you're gonna hear me say it a million times. I just like the look of these and I do like that they have that kind of a raised edge a little bit um, so that things won't kind of fall off of these. Very convenient and again, I really like the handles. Now these are actually new. These are my mom's recommendation. I find some of my best things from her and she brought a couple of these over that she has in purple to my house. And she was like, I don't know why you don't just have like rags in your kitchen. And I was like, we just use paper towels. And she was like, no, you, you need rags. So sure enough, a couple days of using her purple ones. I was like, okay, send me the link. And when she looked, she said, I've actually had these since 2021. So I know that these are going to last for a really long time. You get a ton of them in one pack and I grabbed the pink. I think they are amazing. We have these in our kitchen constantly just to wipe down the sticky surfaces from our boys. Um, and they wash and dry really easy and they're super soft, but absorb water, but they're not like sopping wet. So a lot of benefits to these, but they're just great for constantly wiping down your kitchen like I am constantly doing. Next up, I mentioned that I drink out of mason jars now. I don't know why, it's just something I've started doing. Um, I got these for storage and I absolutely love them. So anytime I, basically I'm gonna be sharing any kind of kitchen video from here on out. You're probably gonna hear me talk about these because they're very multi-purpose. They are 32 ounces, so they are very large and I just love them. It's a very Southern thing for sure. Sticking with the cups, my mom actually got me these. I don't know what her purpose was, but she just was like, I saw these and thought about you. And I have a couple of these from different brands. These are definitely my favorite. Now I will say they are not um, like airtight. They're definitely not leak proof, so be careful. But I love, and don't come at me, I love a good Diet Coke every single day. This fits one whole perfect can of Diet Coke right in there. You have a lid, so it does kind of prevent spills from littles if they're, you know, grabbing at your glass. But if you turn it over, like, it's gonna leak. So I like the lid to these. Um, it's a really nice sturdy lid and I also love the straw. So don't come at me for my Diet Coke addiction. I know it's not good, but I love it. And I think it's just a really cute glass to drink from. Now these were something I told you guys that I was going to do a review on last year and I cannot say enough good things about these. We have had other glasses that we got from Target eons ago and after time, they tend to just look a lot, like they just look gross. I don't even know how to explain it, but they're just not as nice quality glass, I guess, as these from Amazon. And I just love the overall look of these. They're the perfect size. Um, we have eight or 10 of these, I think. And I'm very big on letting adults use glass when they come over to my house. I'm not always about plastic. And so I actually have had a lot of compliments on these and I think they're just really nice. So the next product that I'm going to link for y'all is the large version of these. Same as the other ones um, in the sense that they're a really nice quality glass and they don't get that like foggy, gross look to them like the Target ones did. So very happy with these. Again, we've had a lot of compliments on them. I think they're just a really good looking nice glass and we have eight or 10 of these as well. Now I mentioned these glasses eons ago and I'm very sad to say that I do love them. I purchased them because when my girlfriends, when my family comes over, it's really nice to be able to see from far away whose wine glass is who rather than having to like put something on the bottom, like a little charm or whatever. These are very sensitive. They break very easy. I only have a few left. I like them, but heads up, you gotta baby this glass for sure. These three plates, I'm going to have linked in three separate links below just to keep it easy size wise. So product number 14 is the smallest plate here. When I first saw these online, I thought six inches, that's perfect. And this came in and I was like, oh, that's tiny. I'm not gonna use that for anything. I have used these constantly. They don't show any wear and tear. You can cut on these like with a really sharp knife and it's just not gonna show like other plates. So I really like the look of these but I actually have used these small plates a lot more than I thought I would. These actually are perfect for desserts. So whenever we do have desserts in this house or we're having a, a hosting event that's not huge, this is like the plate that I grab for. So it does look small, but it really is a nice size. Product number 15 is the medium size. Now I can't remember what size we're getting up to here. I believe these might be the eight or nine inch. I still use these, but I would say of the three sizes we have, I use the very small and very large ones a lot more. So 
great size, again, great quality, um, just definitely not used as much in our kitchen. But the largest size here is our daily dinner plates. We use these every single night and very, very impressed with the quality of these. I like the color. Again, I'll have all the information linked in the description bar and comment section. I cannot recommend this brand enough. Um, we have eight or 10 of these as well. And if I was to have to do it over again right now, I would buy these. If they were to break all of them today, I would buy more. Like they are just my favorite dinner plates of all time. Product number 17, I will link, this is from Target. It's just our little utensil holder. This is not actually part of the video though. What I wanted to talk about was this like spatula spoon set. I got this when we moved because we had just a bunch of old ones that we needed to get rid of. And I gotta tell you, of everything I've purchased in my kitchen, this is hands down one of those things. I'm just so happy I got this brand. I'm so happy I got this color. Yeah, they are a little more pink, but one of these gets used every single day. We make dinner every single night with one of these. Great quality, dishwasher safe. I mean, just overall a, a very nice set that we're super glad we have. And there's even more than what's in this pack right here. And I think they're probably in the dishwasher from when I used them yesterday. So we love this set, um, but it is specific. Like this brand that I'm going to link is the one that I recommend. There's tons on Amazon. I love this one. Just when you get a good quality kitchen utensil, like you know how important that is. And like not all of them are made equal. So when you find a good quality one, you wanna talk about it. So this fruit storage, I actually grabbed the smallest one, but it does come in a multi-pack. If I have one complaint to say about this, I just wish there were more size options available um, because I believe it's five or six different sizes and you only get one of each size and that's kind of annoying, but we use three of these in our kitchen full time. We have one container for grapes, one for strawberries and one for blueberries. And then we have two or three left over. What I love about this fruit storage, you could use it for anything, but specifically fruit, I find it's really nice for because you have these separate compartments. So after you wash your fruit and you get all the water off of it, it's really nice because you can put your fruit down in there and there is still a little bit of a space so that if there is excess water, it's dripping all the way to the bottom and not touching anything. So it's not going to ruin any fruit that you have sitting in your um, refrigerator. I know that people are very big on washing your fruit as you need it because that way it does last longer. Fruit's gonna last for one week, absolute max in my house anyway, so I'd rather just wash it and cut it all at once. And that way I'm not having to wash and cut it every single time the boys want fruit, which is like 17 times a day. This really does save us. And product number 19 is a huge lifesaver as well for fruit. You can use this, I think it's like actually called a salad spinner. So it's made for salad, but I use it for fruit all the time. I'll wash ours in the sink. And then you put it in here, you kind of hit that top. You can, oh, it's this button. You can click this button and slow it down. But this strainer is separate. So once you get all the water off your fruit and then you stick it in here and spin it, this thing is gonna be full of water. It's really gonna make sure that what you're washing um, does not have excess water just sitting on it. So again, this is gonna be a way that you're still gonna have washed fruit, but it's not going to be ruined as quickly. Number 20, I told you guys I was gonna do a little review on these and this is it. I cannot recommend these enough. I have fallen in love with the silicone um, aspect of these and just how easy they are to wash, how easy they are to get your prepared donut set up. I just really like these. So I got them in a two pack and I actually just pulled muffins out of them this morning. I have not even washed these yet, so they are still dirty, but I make protein donuts with the Kodiak pancake mix for my boys all the time. They absolutely love them. I've done a full reel about it on Instagram and these are just super nice and very easy for food prep. So if you have toddlers or you like protein donuts, highly, highly recommend. I'll leave the recipe in the um, description bar and comment section, but I just highly recommend these because they're so cute and they're very easy to cook with. So I love them. So I love them. So I love them. I have to stop saying that in this video. The next product is a muffin tin. So same thing. It's like very soft, easy to get your muffins in and out of. Um, these are definitely meant to be like put on a tray. So you're going to want a flat tray to put this on top of when it goes in the oven. But I just like how easy these are to clean. Um, they are nonstick. And I just think that overall, it's just nicer to have this. They're very, like if you don't have a ton of storage at the end of the day, you really can kind of like fold this up and put it in a drawer. But I've just really taken to this kind of item when it comes to baked goods because they're just so dang easy to cook with and clean. Product number 22 was my viral Amazon video for pretty much all of 2023. I think it is my most viral Instagram post I've ever made. 
but it is a bottle cleaner or wine glass cleaner. A lot of people have them in their kitchen sinks. A lot of people have them in their wet bars. I know that Starbucks has them. I just overall think this is so high quality. You can put it in place of a like sprayer in your kitchen. And whenever I shared this on Instagram, a lot of people were like, oh, it's this exactly the same as like your little hose sprayer with your sink. You don't need this extra attachment. And I was like, I've never had any sprayer in any house that I've ever lived in in my 30 years be half as powerful as this. It is so powerful and really, really nice. We use this as a bottle rinser. You can use it to clean wine glasses. You can use it to clean cups. It fits Stanley's. We are overall so happy that we have this because it's just so powerful. Um, and it just takes place of a sprayer that we really don't need in our sink. So again, you can, if you have a little spot for um, like the sprayer in your sink, that is where this will go. It takes like 10 minutes to install, but just know if you don't have a spot for a sprayer, you're gonna have to like drill into your countertop, which I don't necessarily recommend, especially without a professional. So something to keep in mind. Number 23 is this drink organizer in our fridge. Now I, okay, I like this. It is a really, really good item that we have in our fridge, our drink fridge, which is super convenient. Um, we love that we have this. I will say it's not as high quality as I expected it to be in the sense that whenever you pull a drink out of it, Another one does not automatically come forward. You do kind of have to like mess with it a little bit, kind of like jimmy it forward. But I think that this is really convenient to have if you have like a drink fridge or a party fridge or whatever. Um, tons of people that I know have like just fridges in their garages. And this is kind of what I would use that for. I don't think that this is something I would ever put in my primary fridge because it does take up a decent amount of space. Um, but to each its own. So I like it. You just kind of got to jimmy the drinks forward, which is a little annoying, but a fridge we're not using full time. It's very convenient. This is another product that I wanted to give you guys a full review on because I know I've talked about these a couple times here on my Amazon channel over the course of a few years, but I have replaced pretty much all of the clear wine glasses in my house with these as others have broken. These can work for red wine or white wine. Um, and they are a like look for less for a very expensive brand that I can't say the name of. But what I like about these is they are just really, really sturdy. They're a good size. And this is another one of those, not all of them are made equal. So specifically this brand on Amazon is the one I recommend. There's a couple different brands that make these like round slash square wine glasses. I do not recommend any of them except for the brand that I'm going to link for you guys. But I have like eight or 10 of these that I just absolutely love. They're a really nice looking glass. Again, they work for red or white. So very highly recommend for me. Last thing before we get into the kids section is this grape cutter. Now I use this to cut up grapes for the boys. Grapes are a huge choking hazard. I also use these for cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes or whatever you wanna call them because we do make a lot of things with that kind of tomato in this house and those are also a choking hazard for little kids. So this is super convenient. You just pop it down in there, push down and it cuts it into four. It does have a little lid over it and it is dishwasher safe, very easy to clean. Um, usually I kind of like spray a little bit of Dawn dish soap and water up in there just to make sure if anything's stuck before I put it in the dishwasher that that kind of gets it out. But Overall, I've never had any cleaning issues with this and I find it super, super convenient if you do have toddlers that you are cutting food up for. If you are not interested in seeing the next few products, I only have like four or five left that are all kids related, then thank you so much for watching. Definitely make sure to click the subscribe button here, but if you want to watch and see some of my recommendations for kid items in the kitchen, then definitely keep watching. The next product is the kids booster seat. Now, both of my boys are very independent and I kind of let them decide when they're ready to do something, um, specifically being like moving out of the high chair. When I shared that Roman was sitting in a booster seat, I was bombarded with questions going, how did you know he was ready? How did you, like he just decided. He kept standing up in his high chair and the straps on his high chair, I didn't love because they definitely were very snug on him. So if ever he was like choking and I needed to help him, they were almost too tight. So I was just like, you know what, let's try the booster seat. And he absolutely loved it. Um, he had been kind of trying to climb up in his brother's booster seat for quite some time, but now we have two of these because Roman's in a booster seat. He loves it. We like how snug this thing fits to our chair. It has a million straps that actually attach 
to the chair itself so it's very very secure but it is also really nice because it has i think it's called like a three-point harness around their waist um i think it's just the one where it's like the piece that comes up through the middle and then they have the sides that clip into that um so it does keep him in which is really nice it keeps his brother in but it is also very easy to clean which is a huge bonus the next product are these forks and spoons we absolutely love these for our boys the biggest reason being that it is just very nice to have these small ones because they're easier to maneuver. They can eat from regular forks and spoons, but it's just really hard um, because of how big the end of them is. So like Roman, he definitely like does this kind of like big full arm motion. So these being smaller and a little more lightweight are easier for them to maneuver for sure. You can get some that are just forks, some that are just spoons or a multi-pack. Regardless, we are really happy with the quality of these and the boys find them easy to eat from. The sticky mat for Roman is essential because when he did move to the table in the booster seat, he did start to pick up that plate and kind of wants to throw food now, which is not as fun. So we find that a sticky mat is very convenient for him. I don't love to keep food in separate little compartments because I do find that that can kind of make, um, and I've even heard this, that it can make your kid really anxious when food starts to touch. And that is not something I'm trying to teach my child, but Roman doesn't seem to care about it in any other aspects. So I'm not really concerned with it, but I do like this sticks to the table. It's easy to clean and he can't just like pick it up and toss his food everywhere. Next product, I've mentioned this before and I wanna mention it again because I know that those of you who are moms or those of you who are grandmothers here, waterproof cups, is that what I'm trying to say? No, leak proof, leak proof cups are so hard to actually find. So many brands are leak proof to a certain point. This and the other brand I'm about to share are the only two I've ever found that are 100% leak proof. This thing can be full of ice and water. You can turn it upside down like this and shake it and water will not fall out of it. The boys love these, they both have one. Um, I don't have the actual straw that attaches in here right now, but there is an extra straw so you can pull it off. It's very easy to clean. And there's a little straw here at the top. You, they do have to like kind of bite at the straw in order to get the water out. But when I say leak proof, I mean leak proof. The only downside to those is they're a little bit bigger, bulkier, and heavier. So if you're looking for one that is 100% leak proof and much lighter weight and smaller, this is gonna be the one I recommend. There's no other brand and I promise you, I have tried them all. Even my mom has tried them all. The Contigo cups like this with the little handle are not only very convenient to use, they are 100% leak proof. You can turn this bad boy upside down in a bag full of ice and water and it will not leak. Um, my boys both love these and I find that the transition from bottle to cup was very easy for both boys when we transitioned from the bottle to this. So that is it for this video. I was ooh, trying to talk fast today, but we had a lot of good things to go over. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoyed the review on things that I have previously mentioned. They're all so good. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click the subscribe button if you're new here and I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.